going on, Comedic Family? It's your boy, the Comedic Pisces, the one and only, you feel me? Hey, so don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button down below for more content, and as well as hit that notification bell. So what is this video going to be about, bro? So this video is going to be about the all-seeing eye, the eye of Horus, you feel me? The eye of Horus. One thing we got to get clear, and we got to get this clear now. We, we got to get this clear at the beginning dog the all-seeing eye don't got nothing to do with no illuminati bro y'all get so wrapped up you know in illuminati this illuminati that uh egyptian dog this egyptian that you feel me that's just the government and the powers that be switching your reality to think that what is the truth is false when this is this is all that the all seeing eye means bro look i'm about to lace y'all up i'm about to straight lace y'all up listen the all seeing eye just means that you see past the demiurge you see past this false reality my g that's all it means you you within the matrix but you unplugged from the matrix you know the matrix is there but since we live in the matrix we live in the rules of the matrix that's all it means all I mean is that you know that there is a higher reality. You feel me? Like, okay, look. So, that just mean that it's like, you know, you all seeing, you you see everything. You always peeping game. You know, society will try to put out one thing, the shining serpent, they see past that. They see past that, and y'all gotta see past that. Y'all gotta understand that this reality is not actually a real reality. This, all this is is a third is a third dimensional video game that we all living in. At the end of the day, energy cannot be created nor destroyed. And break the duality mindset, bro. It's not left, right. It's literally one, bro. That's why Ra has two eyes. Yin and yang, masculine and feminine energy. It's just one and the same. It's breaking the duality. You know? Because that's what keeps us stuck in this world think that we all one we all our own people we one from another one in reality bro we all just living on this earth together we are just we are one consciousness we're like all little raindrops dropped into a mass ocean of consciousness that's all we are bro and y'all gotta understand that you feel me and the things i won't say none of this if i didn't have love for everybody Definitely people that watch my channel. Definitely people that tune in every week, bro. That's some. That's real. That's real. Y'all love y'all, boy, and I appreciate that. And the thing is, I have so much love for my comedic family. You know, I'll always be having my notes. You know what I mean? Always just the back, just the back reference things. You feel me? So, the eye of Horus. Okay, now who is Horus? Horus is the son of Aset and Asar. Which is, which is Osiris and Isis. Now, he's important because he is known as the champion. And the thing is, if you watch uh, last week's video, I break down the Lion King and how Simba is, is essentially Horus and how in reality we are Horus because how the story goes is that Horus is defeated the first time by his uncle Seth or Set. And what happens is that he goes to Dahiti or he goes and seeks wisdom. And then he comes back as Haru, your as in the champion. And he defeats his uncle Seth, which is the ego, which is chaos, which is everything disorderly within the world. You feel me? Because this world is extremely chaotic, bro. What is right now? Is normally wrong and what is wrong now is normally right this world is very backwards very so the story of Ra's left eye is also the story of Tafnu now who is Tafnu Tafnu is the daughter to Ra and the word Taf means to be moist and the word Newt means in the sky or the sky so she's a representation of the feminine energy 
So what happens in this story, right? And keep in mind, everything, all the stories that were in Kemet were meant to be taken on a spiritual level. Like a lot of y'all get caught up in the story when in reality there's a deeper meaning to the story. But like I said, your third eye has to be open to the truth. The all-seeing eye has to be open to the truth. Okay, so how this story go? So essentially, Tafnu gets pissed off at her father Ra. Cool. Alright. So she goes to Nubia, right? And in Nubia, she turns into the goddess Sekhmet. Now, who is Sekhmet? Now, look, 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 look. Sekhmet. For all the people that, that know the story of Sekhmet, look here. Y'all don't want a woman like Sekhmet. Point blank. Oh my man, I love y'all so much. But don't, don't, don't get don't get no Sekhmet. Don't get no Sekhmet. Alright, so Sekhmet, she is the goddess of war. And as well as she is associated with Haru Akahiti. Haru Akahiti is Haru the warrior. So Sekhmet is a warrior and she is a newbie and she cutting up bro she cutting up she causing plagues she doing all she doing all of this she she, she doing the most right so Ra's like yo look Doth hey Doth hey Doth yo can you go get a uh, uh old girl Doth like do I got to essentially and you know, you already know it's Ra's like, yeah, you got to. Go get my daughter, nigga. Type shit. So Thoth, which is a representation of wisdom, goes and gets Sekhmet and bring her back to her righteousness, to the truth, which is Ra. And keep in mind, she's a representation of the eye of Ra, of the left eye is Ra. Now, what does that mean to you and what does that mean to me? So, essentially, Ra send, sends out consciousness into creation. Keep in mind, the left eye is a representation of the higher self, the con your, your consciousness. To know thyself is to know their, your, your own consciousness on a higher level, on a spiritual level, right? So, Ra sends out consciousness into creation goes into creation and gets caught up gets caught up in creation now what does that mean you know consciousness gets caught up in birth and death cycle it, it just gets caught up and it forgets that it is of the light so what happens is that Ra has to send out wisdom to the consciousness to make it start to know thyself. And the thing is, this is why my slogan for Comedic Pisces is know thyself, to know truly know thyself. And to know that, yes, we might be caught up in this creation, in this, in this matrix of reality, but nah, we like, we come from the most high. We are light bodies. And we will return back to that. But we have to essentially learn the wisdom and the knowledge of the Hedi, which is stoth. We have to learn the Hedi so that we may come back to the light and transcend this duality. Because that is all this is about. We're, we're here. We're learning lessons. But... The real les lesson to learn is that there is no you and me. There's only one. There's only one. And we must transcend this duality of this world. So that's pretty much it. I really hope y'all enjoy. Y'all already know. Stay tuned for more content. And I hope all y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Also, check out the website. You know, it's nice and it's updated. Plus, like I said, I have new merch on there. Definitely much love to everyone. Hotel.